Becky, did you set the table? Yes, Mom. Is dinner going to be ready soon? Dinner will be ready in five minutes. Is he in one of his moods again? He's just been cooking all day. We're both excited to meet this new boyfriend of yours. He's not one of those vegans, is he? Oh my god! He's here! Here we go! You better not be a vegan. This is a great dinner, Mrs. Gilmartin. Thank you, but it wasn't me. We have our own professional in the house. What do you do for a living? Well, I'm in a band. No, I said for a living. Dad! How did you two meet? Was, was it in class? I don't go to college. <coughs> it was really amazing. I went off campus to one of his shows. I saw Becky in the front row, and she just took my breath away. As soon as I saw him on stage, I just knew. So I tracked her down after the show. And we just hit it off. The next night, I took her out to see my favorite movie. And the night after that, I showed him my favorite movie. And it just felt so right. She's taught me so much about the beauty in this world. And he's opened my eyes to endless possibilities. I mean, we're doing things I've never done before. <coughs> the truth is, I'm in love with your daughter. So are you going to get a real job? Dad. He's an amazing artist. Excuse me, Becky. I'm asking Sid how he's planning for the future. Well, I'm still figuring out my music career. Uh Uh-huh. Do you have savings to fall back on? Not really. I... Do you have any plans at all? He's going on tour, and I'm going to take next semester off and go with him. You are not leaving college. You are not leaving college. Do you know how many wires we had to pull to get you into that school? I can always go back. All right, I'm just going to say it. Becky, I think you need to be with someone a little more grounded. Well, I'm just going to say it too. I think you don't like me because I'm a fork. Goddamn right I don't like you because you're a fork. Trevor. Dad. I've worked hard to give my family a comfortable life, and I'm not going to watch my daughter throw her future away over some dirty utensil. Dad. Maybe your dad's right, Becky. What? I can't give you a life like this. The life you deserve. You're probably better off without me. Said wait. I guess sometimes love just isn't enough. I hate you. I hate you so much! Honey. Well, I hope you're happy. (laughs) Why does everything always happen to me? Whiskey. Where's that cute outlet of yours? We broke up. What? Why? We're just too different. That doesn't matter. Heck, my father was a corkscrew and my mother was a bat. What? Do you love her? Well, yeah. Well, love is all you need. Fuck. (laughs) Sid? 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 Oh my god, Sid! Come up! Climb through the window! Listen, I'm just a fork, standing in front of an electrical outlet, asking her to love him. Oh, Sid, come here. I guess one of you two probably knocked over a candle. 